For about 25 years, we understood that light can affect the circadian systems. So when thinking about how light is affecting circadian timing is at the time the people are most sensitive are at night when they're asleep. And so if you wanted to change someone's circadian timing, you have to wake them up in order to give them light. And this is what the current therapy is. And one of the ways around this is that you actually give the light while people are sleeping. Now, if you were to just turn on the lights while someone's asleep, everyone wakes up at night. So one of the ways around this is to give very brief pulses of light brief pulses of light that we've shown can get through the eyelid, get into the brain, and they don't wake you up. This kind of idea sounds simple and straightforward, but the biology behind it is, is really kind of complex. We've actually shown by using brief flashes of light that we can get larger changes in circadian timing than if you were sitting in front of bright lights uh, for a continuous period of time. If you're sitting in front of light for an hour, you'll get a certain amount of change in your circadian timing. If you're sitting in front of a sequence of light flashes for an hour, you get two to three times the amount of change. And this is all due to taking advantage of certain aspects of retinal biology. By understanding the neurobiology, we can get in and we can change various aspects of the light. We can change how long the light's on for, how short these pulses are, the colors of the pulses, how bright they are, when they're given. All these things matter. All these things are acutely tuned to how the light is going to change your biology. And it's important to be able to control that. So this technology we envision being really helpful to improve sleep in people who are working shifts, so people who work in the graveyard shift, who are looking to improve people who are sleeping, uh, who has poor sleep due to travel. So when you're traveling across multiple time zones, it's gonna help them. It's even gonna help teens. We envision for this technology is to really help people sleep. People who are trying to sleep when their bodies are telling them not to sleep.